foot chest or play Sudoku, and for God's sake, you can stop buying me these. Okay? <laughs> yeah. And, you know, actually, I, I don't like the colour of these. They're like quite garish and loud, a bit, a bit camp, flamboyant. I guess you could call me chromophobic. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that because you know I'm beige. <laughs> <laughs> But, hey, I'm, ju- I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Men who find feminism threatening don't go down at all. <laughs> Ma'am Winston caught a mouse and I think we have to murder the mouse. And she was like, I'm not going to, I'm not killing the mouse. And I was like, well, how are we going to kill this mouse? We spoke about it for like 10, 20 minutes. Like I could have set up an Etsy shop in the space of time <laughs> to talk about it. Eventually she said, maybe we could drown the mess. <laughs> Apparently that's like a really nice way to go. <laughs> and I was like, I'll remember that when you're 80. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marcus and I'm the idiot on the comedy circuit. I've asked a group of comedians some questions on how to start and succeed in the world of stand-up comedy. Subscribe to this channel to see what their answers were, as well as to chart my progress on stage, be it crushing or crashing. More likely the latter than the former. You can also follow my progress on social media. I am ION Comedy on Twitter and ION Comedy Circuit on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. Here is today's video. Um, okay, well, I would say, London, you're very blessed in that you've got a lot of options for open mic nights. And that's absolutely where I'd start with. I mean, your gong shows, more major clubs will do them, but that's not that's not where you would necessarily start and craft your act. Um, open mic nights. I would suggest is, is where you start and where you build and where you get to know people as well and you get to know what, what works for other people. I'd say, yeah, just start off in your bringer nights. Um, and like, so specifically in London, there's TNT, like I said, in uh, Kentish Town, which is great, very supportive space, very nice space. You've already done Com- Comedy Virgins, which is um, the stalwart of the open mic and comedy world, which is great. The Cavan de Charms is another one that everyone starts off with in Stockwell. That's a good space, although I've always done so badly in that place. I always break a glass every time I'm there. I don't know. It's, it's not like, yay, it's like... Um... Comedy Virgins one is, is, a good, is, is one of the, the better open mics. I, I will actually um, plug another open mic if I can. So it's um, it's called uh, Wheel of Death Comedy, and it's um, near Gospel Oak in Kentish Town. Um, so Marty Gleason, she runs the night. She's MC. She's fantastic. Um, and what's what's good about that night? It's, it's on a Thursday night. So that means like audience members that that uh, want to go see it. You know, people are usually in a good mood on a Thursday, and um, for a Friday's coming up, and they're they're usually happy to have a couple of beers as opposed to just sort of like a coke or something. And um, it's in a very warm pub environment, and also it's got a uh, sort of a unique selling aspect. So everyone does their five minute sets, and then there's this um, wheel that you spin, and it can land on one of four categories. And then you have two minutes of saying jokes to do with whatever that category is. So she gives you what the categories are, I think, a week in advance. Um, she did at least when I did it anyway, so at least you've got kind of some idea of what you might want to say. Um, but that can be very fun. So uh, I would recommend that night. That's um, get on that one that one's a good one and if you go on the comedy collective page there's also or there's a comedy map of all the places you can go to in london to do gigs um i would also recommend gnb they run about four nights a week um so that's that's a really good one in terms of getting getting booked as, as because you're so new people don't know that you'll turn up on time they don't know that you won't say anything problematic that they're taking a chance on you so gmb is quite a good one because they're very keen to support new talent and they they have more nights <laughs> so they've got more options to put new people on and take more of a chance with you so i'd recommend that um and that's also a really professionally run really supportive night so gmb i'd recommend Comedy in Your Eye, which is based in Camden Eye, is run by a friend of mine, uh, two friends of mine actually, um, that uh, will have um, 
very decent openers and headliners and it will get a decent crowd so while it is um, you need to bring an audience member to it it will still have a, a fairly big audience from the pub downstairs and you will get it feels more like a, a quote-unquote paid gig um, the monthly gig that my friend Stephen Gage runs is, is one of the people I actually met at my um, comedy course. Um, it's called the Palace Panel Show and it's held on the last Friday of each month um, at the Paxton Centre. And um, what it is, it's kind of like a, um, I guess, a panel show and it's sort of like a combination of, of all the panel shows you see on TV. It's just sort of like mock the week, news of the world, not news of the world, um, or have, have I got news for you, that's the one, sort of. Um, would I lie to you? It's kind of like a culmination of all of that, but we do it live. And so, um, so we've, and we've also got, we've had um, people come in doing sketch shows before, and then like um, everyone on the panel, there's usually seven of us comics up there. So one host and then uh, three of us on, on two teams. Um, and then uh, after a bit of input on all these games, we like to do like things we like to see and, and things like that. Um, we, we do our five minute stand ups. Um, it's a really fun night. Um, it, it's something that he's um, started doing since October. Um, and uh, we do it monthly. And it's, it's really, we're really, really proud of it now. It's now gained, gained some likes. And I would invite anyone to see it. It's a free show and there's a bar there. And it's it's lovely, lovely bunch of people who run it. So um, I would invite anyone who wants to see it to see it. I would personally recommend, if you can afford it and it's not affordable for everyone, getting outside of London. Um, to see what it's it's like, yeah, outside, getting to know other different venues. Bristol is really worth going to. Bristol's got a big open mic comedy scene. Um, so this next act up, I've been to a couple of times. It used to be run by Al Kitson, but that's just changed hands. Um, and almost everywhere outside of London, I think this is true, you don't need to bring an audience member. They just have audience turn up, which is great. Um, again, they will have people on the bill who um, are trying stuff out. So Anya Magliano, I have gigged with her, which for me as uh, primarily an open spot was was crazy that she was on, that I was on the same bill as her, but that's, that's you'll get that much more in places outside of London. Um, Nottingham, maybe for when you're a little bit further on, but Nottingham's got some, some great clubs um, which are really supportive of um, the economic realities of, of stand-up comedy. So Late Stage Comedy with John Morris will often advertise for sort of open spots for five minutes in amongst, you know, a professional gig. And I would say he's one of the loveliest promoters and is very keen that, okay, who can we get a car share with? Um, how can we make this affordable for you? Um, and we'll be quite keen if, if the audience numbers are sufficient to pay you, which is not usual when you're first starting out, you're, you're fighting for spots, you're not fighting for money. Um, so yes, I would recommend looking into those and yeah, branching outside of London if you can. And that was today's video. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notification bell to be prompted when a new video comes out. And don't forget to follow me on social media, ION Comedy on Twitter and ION Comedy Circuit on Instagram, TikTok and Facebook. Okay, bye bye.